The SpaceMap Go iPad app is a new spatial sound design and mixing tool developed by Meyer Sound. The iPad app leverages the powerful audio processing capabilities of the Galileo Galaxy Network platform by adding the control functions sound artists need to create immersive audio experiences, literally using your fingertips. When the app is launched, the available space map systems on the network are listed. When a system is selected, the configuration wizard opens. The maximum number of inputs for a space map system is 32. First, we select the number of physical inputs that will be used. The Galaxy 816 processor used in this example supports up to eight physical inputs. Additional processors can be added to the system when more physical inputs are desired. Then we're prompted for the number of Milan AVB inputs that will be used. Because six of the 32 inputs have been allocated, up to 26 Milan AVB inputs are available. The mix view shows eight input channels at a time. At the top of this view, different channel groups are selected. For channel one, we'll select a space map to start passing audio to the outputs. We'll select one of the space maps included with the app. Let's use one of the 5.1 configurations so we have a familiar layout to start with, and we'll apply that space map to all of the input channels with this button. Notice that each channel now has speaker nodes representing left, center, and right, and the left and right surrounds. The green hexagon is a derived node, which is also assigned to an output. When signal is routed to any of the connected speaker nodes, signal is also routed to this output, which is feeding our subwoofer in this instance. Each channel has a space map panner that is used to position the sound source. The position of the panner determines the amount of signal sent to each node. For this channel, we can move the panner closer to the left speaker node to have a greater percentage of signal from this input channel sent to the left speaker. For this channel, we can move the sound to the right. For this one, we want to send this input to all of the speakers, so we can leave the panner in the center. Using this method, we can distribute signal from each input channel to different outputs of the galaxy, creating an immersive audio environment. The channel view displays all of the details of an input. At the top of the display, the amount of input signal routed to each galaxy processor output is shown in decibels. These levels change depending on the space map selected and the panner position. As the panner is moved, we can see how the output levels change. The right side of this view is used for trajectories. These are automated paths for the space map panner to follow so we don't have to move each panner manually. We can select one from the included trajectories and play it. These controls allow us to change the speed, direction, rotation, size, and position. The trajectory can also be modified with your fingers by pinching, expanding, and dragging. The set list view is used to save our work. The app includes a few mixed snapshots as examples, but let's capture a new mixed snapshot, which captures all of the channels. If we make changes to the channels, say for another song, a second mix snapshot can be captured. During the show, all we have to do is recall different mix snapshots between songs. The overview shows us the panner locations of each channel, and we can see them move when the mix snapshots are recalled. If we wanted to make changes to just a few channels during the first song, we could save an individual channel, or a group of channels, as a channel snapshot. A channel snapshot is a subset of a mix snapshot and is used to recall only channel settings. So let's create two channel snapshots. The first one will store the channels as they are. And we'll capture these channels. And we'll give it a transition time of one second. Now, let's add trajectories to the same channels so we can automate movement during different parts of this song. Then we'll go to the set list view and create a new channel snapshot, including the same four channels.
Now we can recall the first channel snapshot, and here the channels are panned. When we recall the second channel snapshot, the panners transition, and the inputs are now following the assigned trajectories. It's super easy. The Create view is used to build both custom space maps and custom trajectories. The app includes templates to get started with, or we can start from scratch. A space map is a graphical representation of the processor outputs, which are usually connected to loudspeakers. Let's go ahead and build a space map for a 5.1 loudspeaker configuration. Remember, the blue squares are speaker nodes, which are assigned to Galaxy outputs. This virtual node can be linked to speaker nodes. The hexagon is a derived node, which is the base managed subwoofer channel in this instance. We'll link it to all of the speaker nodes. The layout of a space map can represent the actual speaker locations, or we can use any layout we can think of to create different types of audio effects. The entire space map area is usually covered by trisets, which include three nodes. Trisets enable the calculation of equal power panning levels as the panner is moved in a space map. The trisets can be added manually, but we can also have Space Map Go do that for us. We can test this space map by moving the panner and observing the output levels. Verifying the result matches what we intended. And of course, we can name and tag our space maps, which are saved by the app and can be easily shared. We can also create custom trajectories. Just tap Start Recording and draw a trajectory path with your finger. Every point and segment of the trajectory has a wait time and a transition time, which can be edited as desired. From the settings view, the system input configuration can be modified. The system inputs are listed and can be reconfigured. The AVB devices can be routed individually. The outputs are listed and can be labeled. Here are the settings for external devices, which can be enabled to control SpaceMap Go via OSC and RTT RPM. And there are system configuration settings and application preferences as well. The next thing we'd like to do is listen, right? It's pretty amazing. And it's fun to create new atmospheres and environments, and there's plenty of fun to be had with effects. It's another level of mixing, another level of creativity. Just bring your favorite sounds and start placing and moving them in a room. There's much more Space Map Go to discover, but you've got the basics of this new mixing tool. With this free iPad app, sound designers and mixers have a rich, creative audio palette at their fingertips. And yes, you can fly the helicopter around the room now and land it in somebody's lap. Space Map Go. What will you create?